Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Mavic uh, drone. So let's get straight into it. From the case, it says it's Arctic white. That means the color of the drone is going to be white by the time we open it. It has a list of some of the things that are going to be inside it. Then also, the phones it's made for. So I'm going to be using this key. I don't have a knife, so this is a key to unbox. Yeah. Woo. Look, I made a mark. Yeah. Please review the quick start guide for your first flight. So, first thing on top of this. This is the drone. Uh, let's just keep this one aside first. So many things to look at. So from what we can see, this remote control is totally different from the other remote controls. It's similar to the remote control of the Mavic Pro and the Mavic Pro Platinum, the one they just released. But it's also different. The main difference is there's no LCD screen here. I think we have to move this tip. I'm scared I'm, I might break something. Then I've seen this in a lot of other videos. This is where the joystick is. So you have to pull it out. <sighs> so tiny. I'm sure I'm going to misplace this. So based on what I've seen, you're going to screw this. You're going to screw this onto here. And this. Yeah, I can play PS Call of Duty. And you turn it. Yeah. So from what we can see, this is gonna be the switch on button. This is gonna be the home button to land. Uh, switch to spot mode, function and pause. Pause the drone in the air. Yeah, right under it, you can see the connector for the phone. This is going to be connected to probably iPhone. I think it's mostly designed or mainly designed for iPhone. But you probably can change it from here. This button normally is to rotate the drone camera downwards or upwards. And in the box, we have a charger, USB, finally USB inside it. Uh, yeah. Then the connector for the charger to plug it into the wall. Extra joysticks. Because I know I'm probably going to misplace one of these ones. So they came with extra joysticks. What else is here? Then we have um, extra connectors. Extra connector. This is going to be for um, Android. This also is for the other types of phones. So they actually thought about everything. They thought about all the phones you could probably use. Let's just clear this away out of frame. Let's bring this out. Mavic Air, all the documentations. I fly drones, so I'm not gonna read any of this. But I, if you're new to flying drones, I'll suggest you read this too. Um, extra propellers. They're flexible. Mm. Propeller guards. You're flying indoors. Or if you if you're new to flying drones or you're flying indoors, the way your drone can easily crash. So this will prevent your drone from hitting the wall or injuring you. Ta-da! The main, the main. There's something at the back here, I think it's like a book. Uh, so now the moment we're all waiting for. Beautiful. 
If the Mavic Pro and the DJI Spark had a baby, this would probably be it. This is an iPhone 7 Plus and this is the Mavic. Just look at the size comparison. I can actually use it to cover it and you probably wouldn't see it. Look at the size by the side. So this is gonna come out. This top one comes out this way. So this is it. It goes down words like this. This one goes forward. So we'll do the same for all the other legs. This is the total footprint of the drone. The power button to power the drone on and off. There's probably no charge in it because if there was charge, it would have shown on this indicator, it would have shown the bars left on it. Remove it, it just comes off so easily. But let's just remove that anyway. So here is the camera. This is a three-axis gimbal. Remove the battery, you just pull this down. So for the landing gear, these are the landing gears, and it's also where the antenna is. For the front landing gears, the back is always this. This is one, two. Ta-da! So going into the specs of the drone, let's start with this cameras on it. That's seven cameras. These are the forward-facing sensors. These forward-facing sensors are for obstacle avoidance. So when the phone is flying, it prevents it from hitting into something. It also has backward-facing cameras, which also prevents it when it's flying backwards. Then it has downward-facing sensors, but it doesn't have anything on top. This is enough protection to protect you from almost anything. So a beginner can probably take this drone and fly it easily because you're protected on all, almost all sides. It comes with the 1 over 2.3 inch CMOS sensor. It shoots 4K at 30 frames per second. Then at 1080p, which is HD, it shoots from 30 to 120, which is super slow motion in HD, which is pretty fabulous for something this size. Then these are the indicator lights just to show you where the drone is at night. Here is the USB connector. It doesn't have a memory card, but it has an 8 gig internal memory space. I'm going to link most of all the other specs in the description below, so you can actually check it out and actually see for yourself. It has a lot of functions, extensive functions, so I don't want to go into that because I don't want the video to be longer. I think I'll just pull up this one. In the next video, I'm going to fly the drone with probably a special guest. Oh, you're gonna see him very soon. But when it comes to price, this drone costs $800 for just the standard version. There's also the fly more version, which comes with two extra batteries and I think an extra propeller. One thing I like about this drone is the size. It's very, very small. Like you can fit it into your pocket. It's really tiny. So from now on, this is gonna be the drone I'm gonna be taking everywhere. Anytime I want to shoot footage, because of the size, the, the footprint is actually pretty small. And from the footage I've seen online, I'm still gonna fly mine and get some footage. From the footage I've seen online, the quality of the videos are actually pretty dope. So, if this is your first time on my channel, please hit the like button and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Yeah. <gasps>